Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's severe weather update. So today, we got an enhanced risk of severe weather across portions of southeastern Minnesota, northeastern Iowa, and southwestern Wisconsin in the orange, a slight risk surrounding that in the yellow, and a marginal risk in the dark green. We also have a slight risk for severe weather across much of the uh, Midwest Tennessee Valley, extending down to the southeast from Missouri all the way down to the Carolinas. So let's take a look at today's tornado threat. Looking at today's tornado threat, we got a 5% chance of tornadoes within 25 miles of a location uh, in these two brown areas and a 2% chance in these green areas. The tornado threat has actually gone down a little bit in the upper Midwest, where early or yesterday they were putting a 10% chance of tornadoes. And that's because we have kind of a, uh, the moisture return is not going to be as aggressive as previously thought. So that's going to fortunately lower the tornado threat today in the upper Midwest. But still, we got that 5% chance, so watch out for a couple of tornadoes. Uh, looking at the damaging wind threat, uh, we got a 30% chance of damaging straight line winds of 58 miles per hour or stronger within 25 miles of a location in this red area a 15% chance in these yellow areas and a 5% chance in these brown areas today. So be on the lookout for strong straight line damaging winds uh, today, especially across northern Iowa, southeastern Minnesota, and southwestern Wisconsin. And finally looking at the hail, uh, hail is going to be a, a larger threat with a 30% chance of quarter sized hail or larger within 25 miles of a location in the red shaded region, 15% chance in the yellow shaded regions, 5% chance in the brown shaded regions. Now we have the, the potential for significant hail today as indicated by the hatched area. This is going to be a 10% chance of 2 inch in diameter or hen egg size hail or larger within 25 miles of a location today. So watch out for some isolated a uh, very large hail if you live in the attached area. Now timing out the storms today, um, there's a little bit of an interesting feature that lowered the tornado threat today and it's kind of down here across Oklahoma, Kansas, and Missouri. This is kind of a rare uh, phenomenon known as a mesoscale convective vortex and this has uh, kind of block the moisture from returning all the way to the north. So that's kind of an interesting meteorological phenomenon that's doing that. And this uh, MCV is going to move across Missouri and the MCV itself acts as a little as a small miniature low pressure and this could actually spark some uh, severe thunderstorms across Missouri with some very large hails indicated by the uh, reflectivity and going into and these can move across Missouri and Illinois causing the severe threat from across the central Midwest and by about by about a 7 p.m. central time the storms will begin to initiate across the upper Midwest across eastern Minnesota, western Wisconsin and then the storms are going to move across central Wisconsin by about 10, 11, 12 uh, this evening, producing some large hail, maybe some damaging winds. But they're not looking all too bad on this reflectivity here. And they're going to kind of dissipate as we head into the night and lose the daytime heating. So. We're going to be seeing some storms with some hail and some wind, but they're not going to be that bad today. Although, again, hail is going to be the main threat. The storms down to the south across the central Midwest are going to mainly pose a damaging wind and hail threat, but tornadoes cannot be ruled out either there. Anyway, thanks for watching my severe weather update. Um, make sure to Prepare if you live in any of the shaded regions today. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day, my friends.